I thought I did it totally wrong. <laughs> Noah and I just got done discussing all the things that we want to do today. <laughs> Amazing. Good job. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the trailer build. I'm gonna walk away from these wind chimes because they're obnoxious. Well, for the last few days, I have been gone, actually. I traveled south to Indiana. I did some awesome mushroom hunting and spent time with some really wonderful people. And throughout that time, Noah actually took my camera and made sure to film some of the things that he did for the trailer build while I was gone. What's up, Linnea? I see the scratches on the lens. What I'm doing is cutting some lengths of angle steel. We'll see how it comes together. I think I'm gonna just cut all the pieces and then get the welding stuff set up and do it all at the same time. Part of me really just wants to weld right now, but it's not that efficient. So we are not going to examine my welds because this is the first project that I've ever done with welding. <laughs> Very strong. I cannot break it. Turns out 90 degree steel angle um, that's in a box shape is incredibly strong just with a few crappy welds. Before we continue with any of the trailer build projects, I want to pause and give a huge thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. As many of you already know, I love to finish my greens before I go ahead and pour myself a cup of coffee in the morning. And I am just as excited when I wake up to go and grab my greens as I am to go and grab my coffee. What I love about this nutrition drink is that it contains 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in only one convenient daily serving. To put it plainly, this is such a simple and easy way to incorporate a special blend of ingredients that really help your body's nutritional needs and supports gut health and immunity, recovery, and focus. And I will say there is something so powerful about starting your day on such a great note. I've recently been mixing together a scoop of greens for Chris every morning as well, and he also loves them. In fact, this morning, without me bringing him greens or without me mentioning them at all, he said, hey, could you actually go make me a glass of those greens? So they are Chris approved as well. Make sure to click my link below to get the AG1 Immunity Bundle that comes with a one-year supply of vitamin D and five individual travel packs for free with your purchase. <sighs> Yummy. Oh, this crap's everywhere. All right, Noah and I just got done discussing all the things that we wanna to do today. Right now, we are going to work on finishing the ceiling with the cedar and then doing just one more plank of the pine. Do you wanna? Pretty cool, huh? Asparagus. From where? Harvested from the garden. What are you gonna do with it? Yes, it's. this is so good, raw. Listen. <laughs> you, Kayla, did you want some? Here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so early. Or 
order placed on that has shipped. No, well, that's amazing. Get here. That's really exciting. Oh, I think it's so, so funny. Happy. They're like, it should ship before the 30th. <laughs> well, that's good because that's in a month. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That is so funny. Look at how much I'm leaving for you. Is wow. It perfect? That's so awesome. That might be too much again. No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no. So, it just tacked in some lower supports for the cabinets. So, we ripping this or cutting this down. I'm gonna build the front cabinets and these side cabinets, which would be right here. be uh, the bottom of these uppers just on those two by twos so that all the wiring can sit in that groove so right now Noah is working on framing this other section of uppers right here and I did finish this what will be the bottom shelf um, but we are going to wait to wire lights and finish everything up because we have a little bit of planning to do with this outlet that's gonna be installed for like under this upper cabinet. So while he does the framing for this other section, I'm actually gonna pull the diesel heater in here and just start piecing things together so that hopefully we can install that heater tomorrow. And you want it to come down from the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Should I cut the verticals first? No. And tack them in first. I feel like you got this up here. Tack them in. Are you gonna tack them in? <laughs> I feel like I am always holding Wait. things for longer than they need to. I did. It's right there. <laughs> did I move it at all? Yeah, you did. Okay. It's like a bird. Like this side is um, this side as well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right. I'm done touching That's stuff for the rest of the day. <laughs> Alright, so Noah brought in the benches, which are all ready to be installed. We get this one done, finish the covers, and then work on that one. Or should we just get this done? I think we should just get both of them done. Let's get both of them done. Porch mode activated. Hold on then. No, why? They don't have to match. I know, but how cool if they did. Oh, swap those two. This is probably the stupidest thing I've ever It's done. not stupid. <laughs> it's pretty when it matches. <laughs> Look, it doesn't match. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It, whatever, okay. Um, I'm over it now. Good, because nobody's going to see it anyway because there are cushions on top. Well, there aren't cushions right now, are there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll. While Noah heads to the hardware store to get some hole saws, I'm going to finish tacking in the false bottom of the first front cabinet. Yeah. 
He wants the screws on the outside. Sweet. This feels weird. Why? I'm cutting into my wall. <laughs> Interesting. Almost, almost there. This said it was 78 millimeters, which is the difference between this bump and this bump. <gasps> right here. But a three inch hole saw is 76 millimeters, which means I have to, I have to expand it by two millimeters all the way around. How are you doing that? I'm just gonna get a file. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna get it. This is, I gotta sit down. <laughs> Throw me that screwdriver. You're gonna go on there <laughs> one way or another. Yes. <clears throat> taking breaks in the afternoon to go play pickleball. So that's <laughs> what we're gonna go do. We're the Nomadic Pickleball Club. Oh yes, we've named ourselves the Nomadic Pickleball Club. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. It's actually, I think, about one o'clock in the afternoon. But in these last few days, I have had a pretty rough time with some of my hard drive stuff, corrupting files, um, all sorts of weird things going on with my computer and software. So I have been spending hours and hours to edit and upload a video. And Noah has been working on some of the details of the cabinets. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what he's been doing right now. That looks great. Well, thanks, Lamea. You're welcome. But how does this look? Here is the little cute cabinet. So. Basically, he just added some of these supports and a simple shelf up here. And this is small enough for even with this quarter inch ply, it's quite sturdy. And then added these nice little face plates. And so this one is ready for a door, two doors. I don't actually know what he's doing over there. And then these will also have doors on it. And this space was just so big that he decided to add that shelf there as well. Put it over there. You could make your shelf. You could make your shelf like low and then high and then low and have the plants on the low and have the cocks oh, on yeah. the high. That would look really cool. I know! For you would love that too. That would be really cool. Hi mom! Look at what just got delivered. All right, so all of these little pieces are tacked up and the face of this is done. Yeah, put a couple coats on the shelves. Two important things to mention. Number one, I will be vlogging the travels to the gutted premiere, so I might make that into a fun little video and share it with you guys. And number two, Noah and I have approximately two weeks to complete the entire trailer build because by June 1st, I believe, him and Bree are moving in. After the rest of my little travels, um, I think we're gonna really hunker down and have some, some long work days because we don't have much time left. <laughs> I need a house. <laughs> but thank you all for joining us during this build and do you wanna say anything? It's going to be fun doing <laughs> doing the build the next two weeks because the pressure's on. Yep, pressure's on. All right, we'll see you guys next week. That's just perfect for right now, Oh, mm -hmm. shit. <clears throat> shit. It's not. I didn't do anything. <laughs>
So loud? Yeah. You have the most sensitive ears well, I've ever met in my life. I'm a sensitive guy, don't you? I know. <laughs> this is important. It's a lot of fucking stress. Holy shit. How are you going so fast? <laughs> what? Is it happening? <laughs> How are you going that fast? I'm good at what I do. Oh no, I did slice myself. <laughs> no, uh. No, uh. Okay, I just gotta get a band-aid quick. I wonder if I, I can't remember if I. You doing right <laughs> How many more weeks do we have to finish this thing? Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> when we wake. And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good